Look at you, Munchkin. I appreciate you. You got to learn about how markets price things in. Why? Because your friends, your family, and even yourself will want to buy things on good news. You want to buy assets. You want to buy crypto. You want to buy altcoins, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Yes, yes, yes. Pump it. The green candles, of course. We've got to remember a lot of things get priced in. There are insiders. You and me, we are outsiders. We are also friends. You've got your right hand on my left shoulder. I've got my left hand on your right shoulder. Before the SEC announcement, there was a mass exodus of people in Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and Hex. There's something fascinating about it. So eHex went down 93% bank before the SEC. Before the SEC, there was a stock split, right? But it still got crushed. Pulse X was down 73% before the SEC. How's that? How's that happen? Well, I can tell you how. I know the answer. You like, subscribe, belly button, all appreciate every single one of you. Family friendly show, shock the algorithm. There's a long way to go for this ecosystem to recover. But know this. Even if there are no looming stories, there are no looming FUDs, there are no looming insiders that you can think of, even if there are none of them, it's all clear, the market will still eventually run out of buyers. That's it. It will price sadness in. Also, it's going to price happiness in as well. You got to remember this. It's super important because you got to learn also from Ethereum. Ethereum had nothing of FUD in 2022. Nothing. The merge went successful. Everything worked beautifully. ETH BTC still had a poopy Q4. So when we're looking at Hex, for example, and the Pulse Chain community, it's beautiful that you can see the clear indicators because it's real DeFi and actually everyone's pure. The community is like a cult. It's so apparent because you can't find this information out there, everybody else, for other co coins. You know why? Because they're all trash. They're all centralized, garbage, filthy trash. The founders are dumping using 1% of the daily trading volume to just try to get out. They don't care. I care about you, though. The market knew the price in Richard Hart's absence. That's why it was down before the SEC. The shock of the SEC was like, ah, he really is silented. Silented. Do you like that one? He can't talk. That was what everyone's fear was. It's smart. The market is a very efficient pricing mechanism because there's not enough liquidity for everyone to escape. But also, there's not enough liquidity for everybody to get in without pushing up the price an enormous amount. It's beautiful that this happens. That's why when we run out of buyers, you're not going to know. You just have to see that everybody's buying now. That's how you forecast the future. You go, oh my gosh, Jim Cramer's calling for $200,000 Bitcoin. Oh my gosh, Ethereum ETF. You say, oh my gosh, so many people are buying now. And you're trying to look over the horizon and you're like, oh my gosh, if everyone's buying now, who's going to buy next year? That's the person who wins. That's a professional speculator. That is a friend who wears fluffy slippers. The person who says, oh, everyone's in. We're going to go up. You're looking at a boat that's already full with no more room to put people on. Pulse Chain is real DeFi. i got to remind you of that. Now, one of the Kardashians have got a name, right? And this was her before surgery, okay? Now, some of you are looking at this and thinking, what the hell does this have to do with crypto? I'll tell you, it has everything to do with crypto, friends, because Ethereum developers and community members are meeting with the corrupt SEC and other government insiders to strangle crypto. Now, strangle is a word I used, but it's the truth. Because that's what they're doing. The corrupt SEC meet with Ethereum. They go, hey, how does this work? What's this? Can we ban this? What would it take to do? Like, uh, could we delete something? Could you move something? Can you roll back something? What happened when you rolled back? And they answer all the questions. And this is super important. Because they are working on behalf of the bug eaters. The corrupt SEC. Why are they corrupt? Because the bug eaters have tainted them. The bug eaters. JP Mosquito. Goldman Slugs. Bank of Ants. City Bug. All of their bugs in the cicada wings flying around in the swamp. They're all swamp insect bugs. Don't forget, Pulse Chain is faster, cheaper, and it's real DeFi. It doesn't have any of this. But you don't know a secret, friends. Before I crank the beat, the secret is... 
if we were Ethereum size, the government would force us to do the same thing. But we're not Ethereum size, so we've got to use it to our advantage. Pulse Chain's real DeFi. Now, I don't think anybody's going to get anywhere by trying to take on Ethereum because there are literally 0% success rate from everybody else. But there is a competitive edge. Bitcoin has to refrain from smart contract innovation to stay stable and allow the government to accept it. Then we build the bridges with Ethereum. Ethereum also has to allow the identity, passport, and all these other features for the government to accept it. Then Pulse Chain can live on the outskirts, Pirate Island, some say. It's funny, we have RG3, also a pirate hexagon. We're really a pirate island, but it's free. You get bigger gains. There's no middlemen. Ethereum is being tarnished by fake DeFi Uniswap. Friends, I've made videos already. I've told you. It's 100% confirmed. I showed you. Ethereum dudes bringing forward an Ethereum update so Uniswap V4 can introduce its KYC feature thing in the hooks. Okay? They're doing that. They're, they're front running it. They're allowing him to jump the queue. There is politics involved, friend. Here is Richard's brother. He says this is true with a full stop. Also, capital letter T. Thank you very much. You see, friends, but well, these are consolation likes, by the way, friends. I'm like, Bleh. a lot of people like, God bless you, but man, baby dolls, just, just be careful of just poop coins out there because, look, you don't value your hex, pulse hand, and pulse X right now because they're so low. But golly gee, you're going to value them if they go 30x. And trust me, 30x is the most conservative number. That's me. You're really going to value them then. You know, that's the thing about $100 thrown in, that's three grand in the future you gave away. So you've got to be really confident of what you're buying and the price you're buying it. And I promise I'd give you an Arabic Qatar, an Oud beat. This is a sick beat, friends. This is a sick beat. Get ready to crank it. I told you. I told you we're cranking it. Don't ever doubt the crankiness. I told you. We're going to pump it. This is the dream. Chainlink is leading the way. Chainlink is now only around 75% from the all-time high, right? $11, $12. Hopefully, it goes to $13, $14, $15, and continues up. It's doing really good for a hold so far. You know, I even saw some hexagons messaging in other streamers' channels. They're like, ah, Tommy Schilling, Chainlink, what's going on? Habibi, Habibi. Where have you been for 18 months? I was in Chainlink before I was in Hex. <laughs> yes. Where have you been? I love you, friends. I understand. I, I, I do the same thing. You just watch someone. You're like, yeah, screw this guy. Screw it. I don't know the history, but I'm here to tell you. I've been in Chainlink for a long time. So I was saying to accumulate it for the past 18 months. So if you missed it, don't FOMO anything. Don't, don't, don't. I'm tweeting it for the Ethereum people. Do you get it? Look, I've got to spell it out for you so you know. I'm building credibility. I'm growing the community. Why? Because if people see that the thing I was bullish on on 18 months, the whole bear market, is going up first, it increases the probability that Bitcoin people and Ethereum people will pay attention and deploy their coins to the bags. And guess what, friends? What am I going to tell them? I tell them, you know what? If you've got an erection... For a 4X. I don't want to see what you're going to do to your pants. If you see a 30X in Hex, Pulse Chain or Pulse X. You're going to need a roof tile change. The roof will be blown. You're going to get so excited. Do you see that? That's how it works. Because, you know, the whole strategy of, hey, this is a better thing. Yeah, it works. But everyone's looking at that minus 99%. Okay. This is what happens. This is how we grow the communities. And I'm not even just saying it to say it. It's because I know the communities, friends. It's just, it's not just like one person shouting into the ethosphere. No pun intended. There's so many content creators out there. There's value here. And screw it. If they don't believe it, screw it. They'll come by the top anyway. You know, if Hex was doing as well as Chainlink, it would be 500% higher. So total Hex would be about 12 cents based off the percentages from the recovery. So Chainlink Fundamentals are super strong. I've made so many videos. CCIP, it's not just an Oracle, all these other things. Chainlink should be flipping XRP. XRP is $53 if Chainlink um, flipped it. There's just no reason for it to, to be there, okay? Now, 
we don't even care about the USD chart, okay? It's all about Link ETH. Link ETH is the real chart. We want our targets to be hit, and that'd be great. Why? I always had a dream, I'm serious, I did have dreams about this, where Chainlink ran first, and it let me rotate into Pulse, Pulse, and Hex. So, oh, you know, or the other one ran first. One of them runs super fast, and then you'd rotate more. I don't know how much they disconnect, because you want to, like, obviously... We'd like to get a good grip on it, but it is possible that they kind of move kind of together. So this is this in a nutshell, okay? Link ETH, all right? Now, running out of time, but let's say you got in right in today and I went up to this target up here. That's a 4X on your Ethereum. So what it means is if you put in one Ethereum today, so you, you converted one Ethereum into Chainlink and you got out of the target, not financial advice, go buy stocks, go buy bonds, you'd get back four Ethereum up there. So you put one ETH Ethereum, one ETH in, you swapped it into Link, and up here, it's now worth four. You could take that four Ethereum, right? So you sell your Link, you get four ETH, you go, hey, man, I think Pulse and PulseX and Hex, I think they can do like a freaking an 8X from here. Now, you might say, oh, I think they're going to do 30X, but, but you might be buying at this point in time, right? So if Link does this in 2025, you might be buying them higher, Okay, you know, you might not be buying Pulse Pulse versus Ethereum at the low. You might be um, paying a, a premium. Now, this is the Pulse ETH chart, for example. So, I mean, look, up here, it's up to like, you know, maybe this is a 30x total. So, maybe you, you buy it up here, as an example. Maybe you actually got to buy it up here. So, if you're buying it here to here, there you go. There's like your 8x. Now, what you've done is you started with one, and instead of getting a 4x or an 8, you get like a 32 that's possible. That'd be fantastic if that works out. But you don't know, right? You don't know if these things are going to move separately. And I would rotate, but not the whole bullet. So we're going to wait and see. But you got to be prepared for these because, <laughs> friends, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> crypto gives you an opportunity. It's just that no one takes them. You get it? The only way for you to live through this and to, to succeed and to execute is to think about it all the freaking time. Because you're going to sit there just like, okay, Hey, did you go mortgage your house when Bitcoin is 15K? No. Why not? Because you didn't know it was going to be the bottom, did you? If only you had a friend who was telling you, oh my gosh, man, like a, the bear market ends with a big bang. We've had a big bang. You see? What about on the upside? It's going to be the same thing. So we're going to repeat to you. Don't FOMO into anything. If you missed it, don't touch it. I don't care about these other old layer one joint chains. They, they, they're trash. Man. They're, they're not contrarian. They're trash. They can be copy pasted. Look, God bless them. Yeah, they're all trying a lot. They got different logos. But I'm sorry, you're just not cool enough. None of these are cults. You're smelly. You just don't live in the woods. I don't see you doing these weird side trans ghetto festivals and stuff for everybody to attend. They're playing generic radio pop music. In one day, out the other. All right. Most people, though, they're going to start buying Link at $15 to $30. Why? Because they're probably going to find some of my videos where <laughs> when I've got a $900 target, the cycle is going to repeat again. And, and trust me, as the prices go higher, their targets go higher. That's what I hope happens with Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this is fundamentally what's going on. And I want to remind you that Link ETH chart is really what you want to watch. The Link ETH chart. Okay. I chart everything against Ethereum. Pulse ETH is low. PulseX ETH is low. Hex ETH is low. Link ETH is low. They've been low for a long time. I want them to get out of the zone, but not really. I mean, it's nice. We want to get paid, but you get you get FOMO, friends. You get a bit antsy in your pants. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't get it anymore. It's over. I, I know, friends. I know you're, you're like, there's no way that feeling exists. Yeah, that's a great, it's, it's the greatest feeling in the world, but it's scary. It's like, oh. You know, if it doesn't stop where you think it is, you've missed out everything, haven't you? Okay. Now, imaginary horrible. No one just goes all in at the bottom of anything. All right. No one has conviction. Trust me. No one has conviction. I went around, looked everywhere. How do I know this? I was making freaking chain link posts every day for 18 months. No one cared. You know, <laughs> you know Ethereum maxis were fighting chain link real hard. He, he. Uh, 2022, yeah, he, oh my gosh, friend. The amount of abuse I was copying by Ethereum maxis. They don't know that Chainlink is going to power up Ethereum and make you relevant and help with your costs. They don't care. You see, it's all about the price. 
You're gonna need patience. So that's the game, all right? <clears throat> Remember, you can get if you get four X on your Ethereum, that that's beautiful. Your Ethereum value, right? Ethereum, Chainic, the blue chip, bug eater, DeFi coin is enormous. You know, you might say, oh, I want 10X on the ETH, yeah. But if you're deploying, you might have to split your bags 10 ways. So it's rare to find a blue chip altcoin, you know, one that you're like, well, I think this thing can appreciate versus ETH. Not even any guarantees. So you got to take advantage of them when they come. And trust me, they're rare. And yeah, it lasts for a long time in crypto. But when it's done, it is done. Diddly on. All right. Don't forget that 32X on ETH will be great. Like if you want to do an imaginary, let's do an imaginary calculation. If you converted one ETH into, into link today, right, one ETH, and you got back four ETH, and then if Chainlink was beating Pulse and Pulse X and Hex, you turn that four ETH, you rotate it, and you buy the cheapest ratio out of Pulse, Pulse X, and Hex. You buy that, and then you hold it for an 8X on your Ethereum. So you'll, you'd turn one ETH into 32 ETH. And if ETH hits $8,000, oh my gosh, you've turned 1900 bucks into 256000 That's huge, friends. Huge. What's the, what's the USD return on that if that works? 134X. I hope that happens. But look, what we've done is we assume that when you rotate into Pulse, Pulse X, and Hex, you get an 8X on Ethereum. You might have to just live with another double or a triple because you don't know because it's super volatile. It, it really is. You don't know if these things move separately, if there's a big delay, but wouldn't that be fantastic? That's why people people in these coins that move by themselves, they don't know how much they're squandering their opportunity to make it because some people, they've made like a 30X on their Ethereum. They've got no freaking idea what they're doing. Okay, They're going to go, they're converting into USD. They've got no idea. You know, Imagine you turned one ETH into 30 ETH. And then you're just in like Pulse, for example, now. And then that does another 15x from here, right, to the top. I'm not joking. Yeah, you would get 450x on your Ethereum. But what are the chances somebody who was that much of a raspberry that they bought a coin, held for 30x, got out, and now they suddenly see the light in Pulse chain? It's very rare. It's like picking a needle in a haystack. So these are imaginary lottery wins. But hey. I think the conservative case is still pretty good. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, all. I love and appreciate every single one of you. Catch you very soon.